now we're ready to zoom in to the, the control panel and let you see how easy it is to operate the tie-in machine. All right, now we're ready. If you, as you can see, we have three different alkaline settings. We have a, a clean H2O setting, and then we have two acidic settings, plus some, some other controls I'll come back to. So, for example, if I was wanting to make a number one alkaline water, I would hit number one, which that's my beginning level. That would be if I just bought the machine and I was wanting to get my body acclimated to it, I would press number one and, and, and then get, drink it for maybe a week or two, get my, make sure I'm acclimated, detox my body, and then I would work my way up to number two. And as you can tell, the control panel, they're color coordinated to match the pH scale on the different intensities or the different levels of pH. So on the alkaline side, the, the higher you go, this is number three, you know, it goes, to, it goes to the darker colors, you know, like the purple. So this is my number three, and when you're done, you just hit the, number, the button again and it shuts it off. Now, if I was taking, let's say, medication, you would want to use the clean water because a lot of medications is time-released, and so you'd want to drink uh, with your medication the clean water. And notice it stays green because that's the color of, of, of seven, the neutral color. They also give you the option if you wanted to make acidic water and, and actually make it come out the top tube, you have a number one and a two. And I'll push it just to show you. And they call it face washing water. And then you also have number two, which is a stronger acidic water. Also, also I want to make mention is this unit here is one of the the few units that I'm aware of that actually allows you to adjust the power settings, the intensity of each level. For example, if I was at number one, and keep in mind that these machines are manufactured, they're, t they're calibrated to, to their source water, so you get another brand that may be uh, pre-configured and, and doesn't have any power adjustment settings, you know, it may say an 8.5, a 9.95, and, and when you test that, actually test that pH of that water and, and make, because you, of your source water, it may now be instead of an 8.5, five and 8, or a 7, 8. And the thing about it is you can't adjust the power setting to it, so you can't make it any stronger, or if it's too strong, you can't make it any weaker. With the time machine, you can do that. Uh, it makes it, that's a very, very nice feature. You know, you can actually adjust the different uh, power settings for each level. Uh, so anyway, that's, that's one of the big, big pluses that the time machine has over the competition. So All right, if you wanted to adjust your, let's say, your alkaline settings, you have a, a 1, 2, and a 3, and you can adjust. This is what makes the uh, retin model by Tyant so good, is it's the only one I'm aware of that you can actually adjust the power settings uh, to each different level. Uh, naturally, you have different source waters uh, throughout the world in different parts of the country, and so what you may get at one part of the country may, you know, source water, your one set number one setting may be you know one pH reading where somewhere else in, in the country you may get a different pH reading so what the tie uh, retin machine allows you to do is to adjust the power settings for each level and so if it's not strong enough you can increase it or if it's too strong you can decrease it and I will show you how to do that you just hold let's say number one down let it do those two beeps and if you notice right here, it shows you where your setting is. If you wanted to raise that a little bit, then you would just bump it up. And you notice it came up a bar. And if I want to raise it again, see now it's up a little bit higher. Or if I want to go back down, I'll do the same thing. And I can lower it a little bit. So I'm going to put it back where it was. When I'm done, hit the 1 again. And setup is now completed. And you can do the same thing with number two if you wanted to adjust number two. Alkaline level two. Alkaline level two. And then if you wanted to adjust it, you hit the F1 or F2. When you're done, just. Setup was completed. And that's, uh, that's it. It's very easy to set, uh, adjust your settings. You can do that uh, with any of the, uh, the different levels if you wanted. Uh, same with number one and two acid or acidic. And. So anyway, that's how you adjust your setting. You can